Uh, hello there, my packaging pals. I'm back. N don't be fooled by the disguise. It really is me, Professor Packaging. Now, we may not have any extreme protective packaging experiments this time. You know, no skydiving, explosions, or caravan cults. But I do still have my precious egg. Mm. Now, it's this precious egg that's given me a bit of a scientific breakthrough. A moment of genius, if you will. You see, I've created a packaging theory that explains the importance of protecting products against damage while supporting sustainability. That formula is... E equals MP squared. I know, very Einstein-esque, hence the, the wig and moustache. You know, too much? Okay. I did tell Mrs. P it was a little bit silly, but allow me to explain this theory. So, E equals MP squared. So E stands for environment, and MP stands for maximum protection. And of course, the MP is squared, so it has two meanings. It also means minimum packaging. Genius, I know. Let's use my egg as an example, shall we? Now, if this precious egg were to break, then it wouldn't just be the egg that goes to waste. Oh, no, 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 there'd be much, much more waste involved, and that wouldn't be very sustainable. Allow me to explain further by using my artistic skills of drawing. So first we need a chicken. And then I need to draw some corn and chicken feed. Okay, so there we have it. Ah, it's a bit of a rush draw, but I think it'll do. Right, so the chicken needs to be fed, which means corn has to be grown and processed into chicken feed. That processing takes energy. Now that chicken feed is then sent to a reseller and then once again transported to a chicken farm. Now, when that well-fed chicken finally lays its precious egg, if that egg is broken, then everything over here in the supply chain has been for nothing. It's gone to waste. Now to show you how this damage can happen, I have an egg cam. Yes, I do. Now let's go to a different part of my lab, shall we? Where I can show you this egg cam in action. And so, with this egg cam, you can see exactly what's happening inside the box. Now, during transportation, there will be vibrations. And the risk of this package being dropped. Now, remember, of course, it wouldn't package normally in this way, but the theory, E equals MP squared, remains the same. Let's take a popular product, shall we, like a laptop, where my friends at Sealed Air regularly create protective packaging solutions for. They really are an ideal partner for maximizing product protection and minimizing packaging. Allow me to explain further. So this is a laptop. And there are many different components to a laptop. The display screen, fan, RAM, battery, hard drive, and speakers, and many more components. Now these components are potentially manufactured in different parts around the globe and brought together to the assembly plant to make the laptop. Then that laptop is distributed to the retailer or sold directly to a customer. Now the average carbon footprint of a laptop is around 331 kilograms of CO2 emissions. Now, with so much distribution, manufacturing going on, that if the laptop got broken here, then everything in the supply chain, all that time, energy, and effort is at risk of being wasted. Okay, so if I was to buy a brand new laptop to create my amazing theories, and this laptop got damaged beyond repair, I'd have to order a second laptop which would mean more manufacturing, more distribution, more carbon emissions, and all because of product damage. So, like we saw with the ACAM, a laptop is at the risk of being damaged through vibrations during transportation and other supply chain shocks such as drops. Now this is where Sealed Air's packaging solution Stratocell comes into its own. The fabricated foam offers high performance cushioning protection and can be designed to fit the product dimensions. Now with less 
packaging material being used, this can reduce the overall pack size whilst maximizing protection of the laptop. In some instances, a foam such as this can reduce overall package material usage and pack size by over 50%. The Stratocell contains recycled material and is classified as a number four low density PE and can be recycled in LDPE systems where these, of course, are available. Now, this really shows the value of E equals MP squared, where the environmental performance throughout the supply chain can be improved while offering maximum protection and minimum packaging. Here you go. Finished. Now, I'm certainly no Einstein, but I will be applying E equals MP squared to all the packaging in my next video. Now, if you would like to learn more about how you can improve your packaging and supply chain sustainability, then contact my friends at Sealed Air. They're as passionate about protecting products and packaging as I am. Thanks for watching. Until next time.